Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to today's live stream. If you're new here, I'm Liz. I have a DIY YouTube channel called Liz from DIY. And today I'm sharing with you my best Amazon organization finds. It's January, which means I'm good organized. I love to organize this time of year. Um, with me, I have my content manager, Delaney. She is behind the scenes. We're a little rusty today because uh, it's our first time live streaming in a few weeks that we've been off. So uh, we had a few hiccups this morning, but we're so excited to be with you. Um, if you're watching us on Amazon, thank you for being here. Go ahead and hit that follow. We typically go live uh, two to three times a week. And if you're over on Amazon, or if you're over on YouTube, I'm sorry, I'd like to show you how to get to our Amazon live stream. So there is going to be a link that you can click, a little arrow, and in the description box, there will be a link that says shop here. It's going to take you directly to where I'm live streaming. You can unmute me, watch me over here on Amazon, and then all the products I'm talking about are going to be down below. So you can add them to your cart and check out. So let's get started. Um, if you watch me on YouTube, you probably saw that I posted a new organization video yesterday. And a lot of the products I'm showing you guys today are actually in an upcoming kitchen organization video that's not even out on the channel. So I'm excited to show them to you today because I have some old ones that I've used for years and love. And I also have some new products that I tried out this year. So let's get started. Okay, so the first, oh, Delaney, oh, you usually tell me who all is leaving messages. Yeah, we commenting. have a ton of messages coming in. We have. I forgot to tell people <laughs> to comment. Yeah, if you guys, I, I know some of our people have been here for a while, but let go ahead and comment you guys where you're joining us from. Delaney and I are based out of Kansas City. Looks like Lisa says good morning. Hi, Lisa. Sue says good morning. Hi, Sue. Kathy says good morning. And then. Kathy. We have Ashley joining us from Rhode Island. Hi, Ashley. Now, Ashley's watched us before because she left where she's joining us from. Everton is saying Happy New Year here on Amazon. So you guys keep leaving us where you're joining us from. Kathy says she loves my hair. Kathy, I did those uh, beach waves today with my beach waver. I haven't done it in a while, but um, liking the look too. So thank you so much for the compliment. I really appreciate it. Uh, Sherry is on Amazon from Central West Virginia. Um, Everton's from New York. Martha's joining us from Florida. So hey guys, thanks for joining us. We um, love knowing where everybody is. Hey, Amy from Spring Hill. So let's go ahead and get started um, with our first product. Oh, I love seeing where you guys are joining us from. So Delaney will keep putting those up on the screen when she gets time, you know, because she's doing all the clips and everything behind the scenes as well. <laughs> okay, so this first one, I saw this and I thought this is such a cool little hook system. One of the things I love about the hook systems that are coming out now is that they are making them to where they are renter friendly and they literally just stick onto the wall. So this is, gosh, this is going to be a hard hook to describe. It's silicone. It has four different little pieces coming out of it. It's got a sticky on the back that you can place directly onto your wall. You could also put this on a bathroom mirror. You could also use these in a kitchen, but for some reason, I really see these more as like bathroom items. But you can put in toothbrushes, your hairbrush, even if you click on the link, there was somebody else who put in a washcloth. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. So I love that these are renter friendly and you can use them on your wall. Um, but they come in a pack of six. I got these cream ones, um, but they also, I think they come in several different colors. Yes, you can get black. They have a multicolor, looks like yellow pink, purple, some teal, all sorts of different colors. Yeah, they're super fun. So you're going to get your pack of six for $13.87. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Let's show them the clip again, Delaney, so they can see um, what they look like. They're all individually wrapped. And I don't know, I think the washcloths would be cool. But if you were going to get these for like a kid's room, you could put them... Um, you know, um, you could put them by the shower. I, I just think they're really cute. You could also use these to store razors. Now, some people in the um, description were using them in their kitchen. So maybe you have like small utensils that you want to keep close by. Maybe you want to put them in your pantry um, to hold things as well. 
I don't know if it says the maximum weight capacity on it. I wouldn't think it would be. It says much. 33 pounds. 33 that it would hold? Mm hmm. That's Whoa. what it says. That's kind of crazy. That's, that seems a little. I don't know if it'll hold that much. Now I want to test it out. <laughs> We're going to have to test it because that sounds crazy. Uh, Amy just asked, would they hold a bath towel? Well, Amy, if they held 33 pounds, I don't know. See, for me, I feel like they would easily hold a hand towel or a washcloth, but I have not tested out a bath towel. I feel like. I mean, I guess if it holds that much weight, they're saying that it would, but I don't know. That seems See, like a little much. I don't know. If it's just a sticky, I'm like... I know. I would think it would come off. But also, I, I have know. some sticky things that hold quite a bit of weight. So That's true. I don't know. Uh, it could work. Uh, but that is a cool hook idea that you don't have to drill into your wall. Because I know that's sometimes a big issue. Hey, Stephanie, joining us from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay, we got anybody coming in? It looks oh, yeah, like we have a Cheryl. bunch of on the Hi screen. from North Carolina. Hi, Linda from South Jersey. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia. So glad you guys are all on this morning. I'm excited to see you. Okay, next up, you guys, this is probably my favorite organization item I'm going to show you today. So, you guys know I love to label, I love to organize. This is a set of fridge labels that I found on Amazon. And what I love about these, it's a pack of 10, okay? So it already has um, the different labels on here, but they are restickable. So they're these really, let me show you what one of them looks like, or Delaney's gonna show you up close. They are like a thick plastic. They already have the labels on them. So they already have the names on them. And then on the back, they have a little sticky label that you can pull off. You can put these in your fridge. You can put it on your containers. You can also put them directly to your drawers. But what I love about it being restickable is a lot of times the complaint is I need to wash out the container, but then it messes up my labels. You can take these labels off, wash your container and put them back on and they're going to stick back on. Now, the only complaint that I've seen about these, I read through all of the reviews, well, not all of them, but I read through a lot, but some people were saying they felt like there wasn't enough labels. So you only get 10. So the ones that you're going to get, you're going to get a dairy, deli, drinks, eggs, fruits, meals, protein, sauces, spreads, and veggies. So I just cleaned out my fridge and I used these and I felt like I got most of the labels I needed. The one thing I wish I would have had was a snack label. I feel like that would have been helpful. But overall, that would be, I would say my only complaint too, is there's only 10 of these. So I'm hoping this company will actually come out with a more extensive set, maybe a set of 20. But these labels, the price on them is $12.88. They're 10% off today. So you can add these to your you know, kitchen and your fridge, and it just is gonna make them look so much nicer. And I love you don't have to create them yourself. Like they're already ready to go uh, for your fridge. So if you're needing that motivation to get your fridge cleaned out after the holidays, it's like the best time to do it. Uh, if you order these labels, it might kind of motivate you to Get that, get that fridge clean. Uh, let's see, the bath towels. What was uh, there a round pedal thing you recommended for the bath towels? Was there... I'm not sure. What Amy, I don't be. think, I don't know if that was us. I don't remember anything. I'll think about it if, if I can think of one. Okay, so another new item I got to go underneath my bathroom sink was a way to better organize my hair dryer and all my hot iron tools. So I found this item. It actually comes in a bunch of different colors. It's by the brand M Design, which they have a ton of different organization products. I ended up getting this black one, which now that I'm looking at it underneath my sink, maybe I should have gone with the silver. But anyways, I went <laughs> with the black, but this was great. It fit my hair dryer in the center. And then I put my curling iron on one side and I put my flat iron on the other side. And then I can just easily pull them out. You could even turn it sideways if you wanted to as well. But this is a great way to just really store all of those hot iron products that you have and they'll be tucked away. So love that if you're needing a better organization system that you don't have to screw into the wall. Um, for your hair dryer or flat iron, try this one out. Kelly, thanks for following us here on Amazon. If you guys aren't following us, go ahead and hit that follow button. We go live two to three times a week. And if you're watching right now on YouTube, 
come over, watch us on Amazon. All the products are linked here, so you're gonna have to get here anyways. There is an arrow over here. You wanna click that arrow. There's a link in the description box. Click the link. It's gonna take you to where I'm live streaming. Unmute me. All of the products are down below, so you can click and add them to your product. Kay, thanks for following us here on Amazon. Okay, so this next product, you guys, this is so new that we don't even have a b-roll clip for it yet i literally ordered this over break i saw it on amazon and i was like okay i gotta get this i gotta try it so this is a product that you put on the back of any of your appliances to wrap up your cords now i have a cord wrapper product that i recommend to you guys but you only get two of them for i think it's like 25 30 bucks it's pricey yeah it's it's pricey it's an Check. awesome product but it's just really pricey so i was trying to find something a little bit more affordable for you guys so i saw this one and this is a pack of six so you get six in there for 9.99 what you do is you just peel them off you stick them onto the back of your appliances like you put them on your KitchenAid mixer you can put them on your toaster your crock pots your instant pot anything and then you can easily wrap your cord up so if you're somebody who needs to move your appliances off your countertop you're not gonna have to deal with those cords like when you're putting it into the pantry or if you even keep your appliances on your countertop and you don't like seeing the cords, it's going to have them nicely tucked up. So I love the price point on this, uh, great price. Let's see, Angelica says, hey Liz, are you still doing any craft videos? Um, I only get notifications for your shopping videos. Yes, so Angelica, if you go over, so you're probably getting notified on um, Liz Fenwick Daily, my second YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and type in Liz Fenwick DIY and um, subscribe and get notifications over there, I am posting two videos, one on Monday, one on Thursday. So you get craft videos um, twice a week. So um, hopefully you can find me over there. Uh, April just said, I just ordered these to split with my daughter. Can't wait to get them. I know. I feel like you get so many, um, great ones. So April, I would love to know if they work out for you. I was excited to find these at that, uh, lower price point. They're really cute. Okay. Let's talk a few, um, items that maybe you could get for your closet. Recently on my YouTube channel, I kind of did an overhaul of my closet, added in some new products, and these were some of my favorites. So the first one was this tank top organizer. I struggle with tank tops. A lot of times I'll just put them all in the same hanger, and I felt like this system was just a little bit better. So this product, you it has, I think you can hold, is it six or eight delayed? I think it's six tank tops. Yeah double check that <laughs> i'm like counting them in my head um but, but essentially you can hang one it is eight eight thank you you can hang one tank top on each of the hooks and i love that it has the little hook system because then your tank tops aren't going to fall off let's show them that clip again delaney um the tank top see how it's got that little hook the tank tops are going to stay right on there and then i love that they just kind of hang down so i can see all the different colored tank tops i can easily pull them off this is also a great solution for your bras most recently i've been hanging up my sports bras on there and i can see them all and just pull them off really easily i have to does this come in a pack of two because i was yes, like i have two of these pack of two, um, <laughs> but you could also get just a pack of one if you want to try it out and you can also get a four pack if you have a lot of tank tops Perfect. I think I bought the pack of two yes. because I have tank tops on one and then the other one I have my sports bras. So I would say of the things we bought in the closet, this one I've been loving the most because I feel like this works really well. You're not, you know, if you're somebody who has all your tank tops on different hangers, you're not gonna have to worry about that. If they're stuffed in a drawer where you can't see them, then, you know, like all my sports bras I had in this basket and I was never able to see them. So I love that they're all out there and I can see them on that hook. Now, speaking of baskets, at the top of my closets, I kind of had like this additional storage and it didn't look really great. And so I was looking for storage that was kind of like out of sight, out of mind, that was covered. And so I found these baskets on Amazon and they're the perfect height because they're not too tall. So they fit on that shelf that goes at the top of my closet. They come in a pack of two and I can easily tuck things away in there. I don't have to see them. I have the storage I need. Now, if you're worried you're not gonna remember what's in there, you could always put labels on the front to kind of help you out. Uh, but this was a great solution for me. So 
love that if you're looking for um, some like wicker basket style organization. Wanted to give a couple more shout outs. We have Lisa joining us from Minnesota. Ooh, she says it's snowing in Minnesota. Wow. Oh, and it's snowed Wisconsin, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It looks like it was Minnesota and Wisconsin. I guess we missed uh, that, you guys. That must have gone north of us. We have Heidi it says good morning from Clarkdale, Arizona. Hey, Heidi. And then happy new year from Virginia from Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Now, I'd like to know what the temperature is for Heidi in Clarkdale, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to Heidi. And then Katie's in California. I want to know what part of California they're in. Hey, Katie. Thanks for there. getting up early to join us. And then Sharon says, love the labels. That was referring to the fridge labels yeah. we showed earlier. Those are definitely one of my favorite, these fridge labels. I, I am thinking they're going to be a bestseller because they are pretty cool. They were so easy. Like in years past, I've made the labels and put them on. And I even bought some on Amazon that were like a sticky label um, that worked really good. They're actually on here. Um, but they're just, if you peel them off, they're one and like we were peeling some of them off to put these new labels mm -hmm. on and, and you can't reuse them so the cool thing about these labels are you you're going to be able to reuse them so love that okay so this next item is a really cool item i actually put this in my closet um but i've also put this in my rv and this would also be great for your living room this is a remote holder so you can put this it has a sticky on the back you stick it directly to the wall you can put this anywhere where you need to store anything that's the size of re a remote. Now, I put it in my closet because every time I walk into my closet, I always lose my cell phone because I'm constantly listening to podcasts. And so I always have my phone with me. And so I thought this would be great. I could put my phone in there as I walk around um, and wouldn't lose it. So love that. In my RV, I put it next to my couch on the wall um, because it was a perfect container to hold the remotes. You may find in your living room that that would be a great option for you. Um, but it's also just a great little container. You could put pencils in there, really anything. And because it's sticking to the wall, it's renter friendly. And it comes in a pack of two for $9.99. I got the white one. Does it come in other colors, Selene, or is it just the white that I ordered? So in the picture, it is just showing. Yeah, it is just white. Hey, Ka color. Oh, Kathy came over from YouTube. Hey, Kathy, thanks for coming over. Okay, another item that I'm using in my closet um, was this set of hooks, and I thought these were really pretty hooks. Now, these are hooks that you're going to have to screw into your wall, but you could use them for coat hangers or really any hangers. I was just looking for a cute decorative hanger to hang my bags on the side of the shelf. Um, so basically, you drill a hole, and then you just screw them into your wall and you can see I hung my bags over there. Um, and it, this is working out great. I love this system, Delaney. This is so perfect. I had these bags on the floor and I would always trip over them. Mm -hmm. Love this. I'm so glad we did this. Uh, but you could also use these uh, hooks that come in a pack of four. Um, one time I, um, like in the closet, I took out the rod system um, in like a coat closet and put hooks around for my kids to put their coats and backpacks. You could do that. You could also make a little hanger board where you could put your keys up. Just really anywhere in your house where you need something like that, that would be a great option. These also come in different colors and a couple different shapes as well. You have some black, some brass. There's also a star shape and some round hooks as well. I could also see two of these maybe by like your front or back door where you hang your keys because mm -hmm. that's always like my husband's always like, oh, where are my keys? You know, and so it's like if he has that exact spot that he can hang them on when he walks in, that would be a great option. And they're decorative and cute. So you're going to get a cute hanger from it. Melissa, thanks for joining us from West Virginia here on Amazon. It's like we have a ton of people commenting on YouTube. We have Patty from Georgia. Hey, Patty. Donna from Ohio. Donna, hey, thanks for joining us. Oh, Gwen's in Florida and said it's 78 degrees. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the time of year we get jealous of you guys living in Florida in those southern climates because it just gets so chilly. And it's <laughs> we just can't wait for, like, March and spring weather. <laughs> yeah, and Heidi says it's 38 degrees. So wow, it's good, okay. It's kind of around, I think, what are we at Yeah, right that's now? colder. Check. We're in the 30s. The girls checked the temperatures. They We're said it was going to be in the 30s and 40s this 34. morning. Yeah. Hey, Judy is joining us from Missouri. Hey, Judy. 
And well, it looks I'm like, so glad you guys are here today. It looks like we have a lot of people watching on YouTube and here on Amazon. So if you guys are on YouTube, make sure you come over and watch us here on Amazon as well. This is where all the products are at. And you're definitely going to want to add some of these to your cart. Okay, this next problem, I would say this next product is probably one of our most unique items that we had in our closet organization system, Delaney. Um, this was pretty cool. So this is a pack of four. And these are a 300 or 360 degree swivel organizer. Okay, so they clip onto any rod that you have in your closet. And they're great for hanging bags. So you could hang one bag on each side. Well, you could probably hang multiple bags, but I just put one bag on each side. And it swivels around so you can take your bags off. You can hold them on there as well. Um, and you get four of these. Now, outside of bags, does it show other options for things to Yes, on there? it does. So you can also use it for belts, for ties, or for scarves is what it listed it as. But I'm sure there's other items yeah. that you could put on there as well. I'm wondering if you could use it. For, it might work for, like, longer necklaces or other things like that if you're someone who has a lot of jewelry. Well, I just love um, how you can easily take things on and mm -hmm. off of there. So it's a really great solution. And you can put these in multiple closets. So if you, you there's a pack of four, I only use two of my closets, but then in my girls' closets, I added one to each of their closets that they hung purses up in. So, um, you know, think about where in your closets you may need these, but I thought these were really cool, really compact, and um, a fun way to organize your purses in your closet. Okay. Let's go back. Hey, Rosemary. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Kathy's got a good day. 80 degrees in South Carolina. Enjoy that nice weather, Kathy. All right. Let's talk about my bamboo organizers. Now, I actually gave uh, these to my mom for Christmas, and she was really excited because she had seen them on our live stream. Uh, but this is a set of organizers that you can use in your drawer. I feel like 2022, these were so popular. Everybody was buying them and they're just such a good system. Like for $15 and 85 cents, you can have one of these in your drawer. Um, I did over, I didn't, didn't tell Delaney this, but <laughs> like on the first, I really went through and was like decluttering, cluttering some of my drawers. And I was so excited to have these organizers because I felt like they just did a really good job of organizing these products. So this one is a set of three for $15.85. Like I was telling you guys, what you can do with this one is you can put any of your rolls of, um, you know, you could put your tin foil in there. You could put your saran wrap, your parchment paper, your wax paper. It's all going to fit in there. This also comes with a pack of labels. So you could label each one of them as well. You don't have to make your own labels. And then you set this in your drawer. And then anytime you want to cut just a little bit off, you just cut it across. When you're, um, you know, you run out of paper, you can just buy one at the store and put it in there. You don't have to store the boxes. I mean, this just looks so nice, so organized. People are going to open up your drawer and just be like, wow. Um, so it's just a great option. Um, it doesn't, it also comes in a pack of two. So you can get the pack of three or you can go for the pack of two. Maybe you only like, you know, two different products and you don't need the three. And the other cool thing about this is it has hooks on the back, so you can actually hang this onto your pan or in your pantry or on your wall if you'd like to as well. But I think for me, I like it best in the drawer. It just fits really well in there. Um, we did have some questions. Do you have to take it out of the drawer to use it? No, you can just pull your drawer out like I'm doing here, get the product you need, push your drawer back in. Really easy to do and it looks so super organized. So love that. If you want the pack of three, you guys, this one is $15.85 today. Kathy says that Amazon just delivered theirs two minutes ago. Ah, yeah, let us know what you uh, think of funny? it. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of comments coming in about the weather. It looks like Sharla is from Alberta, Canada and says it's negative 10 there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we That's should crazy. not, Sharla, we should not be complaining about our weather. No. If it's negative 10 where you live. Okay, we're done. We're done complaining. <laughs> then it looks like we have Melvina joining us from Tennessee. Hello, thanks for joining us. And then Tanya from New York. Hey, Tanya. I'm so glad you guys are all here this morning. Uh, let's see, we got a few questions. Amy says, I have tons of those uh, camis. 
to hang. I think, uh, Amy, you need to get one of those hanger systems if you have all those camis. That would be perfect. Yes. Um, okay, so somebody asked, does it fit Costco size on uh, the bamboo? No, it won't fit. It's going to fit just like your regular size rolls that you would pick up at Walmart. Um, so I don't think it will hold the larger size. Okay. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining us. All right, so another kitchen item that I really enjoy is this water bottle, water bottle holder. Now, this might not look like anything special, but if you have a cabinet that's filled with water bottles, or maybe you have a drawer where your water bottles roll around, this is the product you need. So it's an acrylic stackable organizer. It comes with two, so you're going to get two um, in the pack. And then what you do is you can put this in your cabinet and it will hold water bottles, pretty big ones. Like my girls put in like big hydro flask in here and they hold just fine. Um, but this is a way to keep your water bottles stationary. The other thing we use this for is, is to limit the amount of water bottles we have in our house. So I ended up getting two of these. So we have, um, we have 12 basically, or we have six on top, six on the bottom. So that's how many water bottles my girls are allowed. Once we get more than that, we have to like take one out and donate it. So it helps to really limit the amount of water bottles. Cause I feel like that's one thing in a house that can just really get out of hand. Yeah. Water bottles. Is water. For sure. <laughs> that was like the one thing when I was cleaning out my drawers, I was noticing, I was like, okay, where did we even get this water bottle? Like, where did this come from? <laughs> um, but if you need something, to help just kind of manage those we've had this system now for probably two years and i really love it um so if you have water bottle problems grab this um it's definitely worth it i haven't been able to find anything comparable for a cheaper amount that does the same task uh, so i definitely like this one looks like we have more comments coming in katie says they live at the base of mount whitney oh, and it's 23 degrees there oh my gosh okay and then we have Karen joining us from Scotland. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining us. They said it's very cold there. Yes. Yeah, I'd, I want to know how cold it is. I guess we're using Fahrenheit, so that might be mm -hmm. kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, just let us know. Yeah, I can Google what it is in <laughs> Celsius for you. Yeah, that'd be really cool to know. I think this next product is um, my only, I think this would be my only laundry product that I have in today's video. So you guys, now I, we just had a question about Costco. If you buy the Costco soaps, this next product is for you. So we buy these huge gallon laundry soaps and they drive me nuts. I kind of stopped buying them for a while until I found this product because I hated how gunky that cup would get whenever you would set it onto um, the side of it. Because no matter what you did, the product would always leak out and it would be gunky. So I found this riser off of Amazon. It is a simple plastic riser. It's nothing fancy. You could probably figure out a way to make this yourself. Um, but what you do is you put your soap up there like all the time. You keep the cup off underneath there. So if for some reason any liquid or any laundry soap comes out, that's okay. It's gonna fall directly into the cup. Then whenever you need to use it, you just fill up your cup put it into your laundry and then put the cap back underneath. So no more do I have that gunky cup. This is like awesome. So we just have, we have this little counter that sits by our washing machine and we just leave that setting out all the time. So this is saved that problem. I honestly switched to like the smaller laundry soaps for a while because that just bothered, it bothered you so <laughs> much. But when I saw this, I was like, you know what? We're going to try it out because my husband likes getting these. He likes getting the bigger ones because I think it's like we have to buy it less often. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's a great solution for your laundry soap. Okay, so this next item, before we started this live stream, Delaney and I were talking about how long we've had this product. And it's been at least three years because I remember I did this, used this product in a fridge organization video at least in 2020. So it's been a while since I've had these. This is, in my opinion, the best deal on a set of fridge containers like anywhere i just really think mm -hmm. so i love the clear acrylic because i love in my fridge being able to see through um exactly what's in my fridge with this set you get so many different products so you get the clear acrylic and i want you to see these are still in my fridge today we have this one at the office but the rest of them they're still in my fridge 
They are such good quality. They hold up. They're going to last you for years. So you're going to get two of the larger ones. And then let's show them again. So like, can we show them that clip so mm -hmm. we can show them exactly what they get? So you get six stackable fridge bins. I don't ever stack them, though. Um, I just kind of put them, but I guess you could stack them. So you're going to get two of the larger ones that I just showed you. These are great. I put meats in here. I put cheeses in there. You also get this one that's for beverages, but I actually put snacks in mine. These are great for apple sauces, really any little smaller containers. And then you get the egg crate as well. This is such a good set for under $30. You can put your labels on the front of them. This is the label that I had um, two years ago that is still on there. But these new labels, let me show you guys. These new labels that I got, you could just set those on the front of here really easily. So you could put those on if you wanted to with the new labels. And if you're just joining us, and you're like, okay, what labels you're talking about? Go to the beginning of my carousel. I showed you these reusable labels that are amazing. Here, I'll click. I'm going to click on it for you guys oh, awesome. so you can see them. Um, I just clicked on it. Yeah. So you should be those able to great. see those now. I did want to add, if you guys are buying these same type of containers at Target, it's $14 to just get one of these. Yeah. And you're going to get this whole set. For $29. These are such a good deal. Amazon. These are one of my favorite products. If anybody asks me, like, what is one of my top organization finds, it's these. Um, because the acrylic can be kind of pricey. You know, if you bought these at, like, even pricier stores, we know those organization stores, you're going to spend a lot more money. So I love these for my fridge. If you're wanting to organize your fridge under your bathroom, in your pantry, that's a good option to check out. Okay, let's talk pans. So um, I was looking for a system to organize my pans underneath my cabinet, and I found this item. It's around $16. Now, you can stack it like that where it's vertical, but I didn't have the room for that in my cabinet. So I actually put it on its side, and I'm able to store three pans in this um system you can also put in your uh, lids as well so if you'd rather store your lids in there or maybe you want to get one for your pans one for your lids it's great um, and as i was going through and like reorganizing i was just thinking this is still a great system it holds in place really well even on its side it does come with some screws if you want to screw it into your cabinet i never did that i just laid it on its side and it works really well so that's a good solution for your pan it looks like we have a lot of new people joining us on Amazon. I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure you hit that follow button. If Liz, you want to show them how they can kind of hit that follow button. Yeah. So um, follow us over here. We go live two to three times a week and we share a lot of great deals on Amazon. We focus on bargain items that you can find here on Amazon. And if you're watching us over on YouTube, make sure you click the arrow and there's going to be a link down in the description box. Click that. It's going to take you directly to where we're live streaming. You can unmute me. All the products I'm talking about are underneath me in the carousel. You can click on them and add them to your cart. Um, let's see, Tiffany, thanks for following us. <laughs> yes, you have to catch up, but we still have so many products, so don't worry. We're going to go through them all. Okay, next up, you guys, this is an awesome organization item. If you like to look a little bit extra, if you like really cute organization but don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a good option. So I bought this to go on a shelf in my guest bathroom. It's a set of four glass containers that have these cork ball lids to it. Came packaged so nicely. And I use these just for extra toiletries. I put toothbrushes in there. I put toothpaste, um, Q-tips, those little tooth um, picks or with those flosser Floss picks. things. Um, I put those in there. Now, these cork balls, they sit on there really nicely. They don't fall off. It's not going to be airtight. So I don't necessarily, I wouldn't use these in my pantry. Um, I mean, you could, but I would use them more for like a bathroom space. But they just look so pretty, so aesthetic. And I love all the, like the variation in heights that they give you. And they're priced under $35. So those are one of my favorite, like beautiful organization items I have. Camilla and Heidi, thank you guys for following us here on Amazon. So glad you're here. Thanks for following us, Valerie. 
Okay, next up, let's talk battery organization. Now, if you have a drawer filled with batteries, this is the product you need. Now, this is probably one of my number one gifts I like to give for Christmas because it helps people organize their batteries. Um, it's not safe to store your batteries all together. You wanna separate them out. And this is going to allow you two sides where you can separate all your batteries um, there's also a section for your specialty batteries. You can put those up top. So if you have those like circular batteries, you can put those in there. There's also a juice tester where you can see if your battery has any life left in it. And this is all under $29. Now we have the blue one. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So you can pick the color that works best for you. But this makes a great gift um, for pretty much any family on your list. You may have a bunch of batteries hanging around after the holidays uh, you got for all those toys. And if you have some extra ones, this would be perfect to store them in there. Get organized. It's going to fit directly into a cabinet or a drawer. And anytime you need batteries, you know exactly where to find them. So I love that like they're all nice and organized. The cool thing about this as well is it comes in several different colors, but you can also buy it with batteries that come with it already in there. So you can get like AAA, D batteries, AA that come with the case as well, which makes it a really great gift as well if you're sending that to someone. Yeah, that's a really nice option to have um, if you're if you are giving it gift giving it. OK, let's talk about an item from my closet. I was telling Delaney earlier before we started the live that this was actually on one of our top seller lists because I just did a closet organization video on my main YouTube channel list from McDIY um, and people love these. So these are acrylic shelf dividers. So if you have a closet where you put a lot of your items on a shelf, like I have shelving, I don't have a lot of drawers. We use these to separate our clothing. We separate our sweatshirts, our t-shirts, our pajamas, our leggings. And I've had this system now for over a year and it makes such a big difference having those acrylic dividers in between my pants. I mean, things just really stay in place. And honestly, this may not be the case, but I feel like things stay folded better because they have those like barriers mm -hmm. on the side. I mean, they're not like super tight in there, but it just helps to keep everything so organized. Like if you go into my closet now, it pretty much looks similar to this. And my husband, I did it on my husband's side and he, I mean, his t-shirts used to be like all over the place and now they stay really organized. I also love that you get a pack of eight um, with this set. So you're going to get enough. So if you have one of those big shelves and you just struggle with keeping it organized, try these acrylic organizers because they really worked well for me. Uh, Carol, thanks for following us. Coach Mike, thanks for following us. All right. Another item that I use in my bathroom, um, I just love the look of clear acrylic because if I can see it, I feel like I use it. If it's behind things, I typically will forget about it. Mm -hmm. So I just, even like in my craft room, I like to be able to see things. This is a set of clear acrylic organizers. And Delaney, does it come with two? Do you get two with so this? So this has, so did you show how they come apart? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show. Okay, so they come apart and it is a two piece set. So it does come with those two. Okay, okay, I just wanted to make sure on this one that we were showing that one. Okay, so this is your two piece set. And like Delaney said, it's going to come apart and it stacks really nicely. Like there is a lock system, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it has pull out drawers that pull completely out. So let's say you wanted to put your makeup in here. You could pull this out completely, take it over to your vanity and pull it back in. This would also be great to store your nail polish or any of your skincare products in here. And then you could put it just underneath your bathroom sink. I think that would work out really well. You could also use this underneath your kitchen sink. Like maybe you want to put um, like your dishwashing detergent in here. Maybe you want to store some sponges. You'd be able to see what you have. You could take it a step further and label it. We always like a nice label, um, but love that you could stack these. You could even buy additional and stack them up higher. So if you wanted to mm -hmm. get an additional set, you could stack it because it has the framework here where you could actually stack them on top of each other. So this is a set we've had now for gosh, two or three years, and it's just a really nice acrylic set. 
I would say the plastic on that is probably the thickest of any that we, or the acrylic on there is probably the thickest of any that we've shown you guys today. Okay, next up, you guys, let me show you my microfiber towels. Now, you may be wondering, okay, why are you showing me microfiber towels in an organization video? The reason is because I want to tell you guys about the organization system I use for these. So if you have cleaning towels in your house and you have multiple people doing the laundry, sometimes towels can be a big mystery. Like, where do they go? Where do they get stored in the house? So what I did was I bought this set of 50 microfiber blue cleaning towels. They're all the same, all the same color. These are the towels we use in our house as cleaning towels. I put them underneath my sink in a magazine holder. And so anytime anyone does laundry, they do anything, they know that these towels go underneath the sink and that's what we use for cleaning. So it's a great way to not mix your towels um, because they all look similar and they're priced under $16 and you can get a set of 50. So if you struggle with that, if you need to make your towels a little bit more streamlined, um, that's the system I use in my house and it works really well. Okay. We have a bunch yeah. of comments coming in on YouTube. Yeah, I kind on? of got behind. We have Mary joining us from Ohio. Hey, Tanya from Ontario, Canada. Hello, 35 Tanya. degrees Celsius there. Or not Celsius, oh, wow. 35 degrees Fahrenheit there. We have Dora joining us from British Columbia, Canada. We have a lot of Hello. people joining us from Canada, it looks like. Yes. Oh, man, it's cold there today. And then we have, it looks like, Kiki from Minnesota. Hi, Kiki. Belinda from Virginia. Oh, man, Kiki says it's been snowing since Monday there. That's crazy. You guys have gotten a lot of snow. I wonder how many how many inches are you at now? Yeah, yeah. I would. I mean, it snowed a little bit around Christmas time here, but that was mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, we had we snow then, but we haven't snow. had snow in a while. And then I don't know. Did I? Was there a different person from Scotland? We have Karen joining us from Scotland. Hey, Karen. As well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching us on YouTube, and I hope you come over to Amazon and watch us stream over here. Um, okay, let's get back in. I got so many more products to share with you guys. Okay, let's talk a few kitchen items. So this next item is a set of travel glasses to use for drinking. Now this is a set that's gonna come with 12 glass containers. They have a screw top lid on there. So if you like to buy your juice or um, you know your milks or different drinks in bulk, like maybe you like to shop at Costco and they come in a big container, but you wanna put individual portions for your kids or just for yourself, you can use these to put into each of the containers so they're ready to go. So you can take them on the go with you or just so your kids can easily get out a container to use it. And it's going to be cheaper than buying, you know, the pouches that you can buy with the juices in it. And you can put specifically the product you want in there. So love this system for kind of doing this. Maybe you like to make smoothies on the go and you wanna have those ready made in the morning, you can use these glass containers as well. And I would say, I don't know what it says, Delaney, on this, uh, how much they hold. Does it say how much liquid? It says, let me check that. 16 ounces in each one. And it says they have airtight lids. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna hold at least 16 ounces. The base is glass. And then your top is like a plastic black lid. So you're going to get um, 12 of those for under $23. And they're really, they're listed as being great for if you like make your own juice, kombucha, smoothies, tea. You can put them in here and make it all in bulk and then store it all in your fridge. That's true. Like if you've made it and you're like, okay, I have like multiple servings, you need something to put them in. That's a great option. All right, next up, you guys, is our stove shelf organizer. So if you have a shelf in on your stove similar, like if your stove looks similar to mine, this is such a great product to have. It is a it is magnetic, so it sits directly on the top of your shelf. You don't have to screw it in. You don't have to do anything. It literally just sits on top of there. Now, if you have a smaller kitchen and you need additional storage, or maybe you like to have things out as you're cooking, you can put your spices and things that you reach for frequently on the top of your stove so that you always have them sitting out ready to go. Or if you're just really struggling to, you know, find storage space, you can use that. I mean, that's an unused space for a lot mm -hmm. of people. When I saw that, I just thought this was such a cool um shelf so i wanted to show you guys that and i love that it just sits there like literally i just put it up there and it was good anything that's easy i'm loving 
We have a ton of people joining us on YouTube. Liz, do you want to show them how they can come over and watch and shop on Amazon? For sure. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, hit the arrow over here. There's a link in the description box. You're going to click that link. It's going to take you to where I'm live streaming. You're going to unmute me over here. And then down below, all of the products are going to be here. You can click on any of them and add them to your cart to check out. Okay. Next up, you guys, this is my favorite bowl set. If you've watched any of my live streams, you've seen these. So I'm sorry that you guys have to see these again. But um, I gave these as gifts this year. So I gave them to my mother-in-law for her birthday. But then my mom got a set of these for Christmas. She was really excited to get them. So what I love about these are their airtight lids. Well, there's two things I love about them. They're a set of ceramic bowls that are so pretty, like you can put them directly onto your table and they look great. You're gonna get four different bowls, but each one of these bowls comes with an airtight lid that when you open the seal, like I'm opening it right now, you could hear the air come out of it. Um, so it's going to just really pull all the air out and keep your ingredients inside as fresh as possible. I also like that all of the lids have like a different color underneath, but it's not mm -hmm. too in your face. Uh, but the seal on these is just great. So if you're looking for a nice set of bowls for under $30, this is a great set to have. The price is the same that it was back, you know, Christmas time, Black Friday. Yeah. They really haven't changed the price too much. So that that $29.99 is kind of their sweet spot for pricing. Um, but if you need a gift for your mom, mother-in-law, anyone, anybody who loves um, cooking or dishes, this is a great option or just for yourself. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so another bowl set. Now, this is a bowl set I use for completely different uses. This is a plastic mixing bowl set. And this one I was drawn to mainly because of the color. I love the colors, but it comes in so many different fun colors. Mine's kind of like this blush pink color with grays and creams. You get six bowls. You also get six plastic lids that come on top of it. And then it has the... Um, utensils that come with it as well as the measuring spoons and that's all for under $28. Now I use these for everything for mixing salad for you know mixing up pancake batter for storing leftovers in the fridge. I love that you get so many different sizes so it's a ton of options but I think the color selection is one of the coolest things about these. Yeah these have so <coughs> many cute colors. We're showing you like the pastel kind of grayish pink set you can also get a rainbow set, a blue set, and then like a neutral gray, white, black set as well. But they all look really cute. If you guys click on that link, you'll be able to see all of those options. Sapphire Queen and H Nanny, let us know your name. Thanks for following us here on Amazon. If you guys are not following us here on Amazon, we go live two times a week. We share some of our best deals on Amazon. We really focus on budget-friendly products here. Um, so make sure you're following us because you're not going to want to miss our live streams. Now, another product that um, I've used now for a while is this cereal dispenser. It's, I love it. I love this cereal dispenser. Um, it's really cool and really useful if you're a family who has, you know, honestly, you don't even really need cereal. You could use Cheerios, Cheez-Its, mm -hmm. Goldfish, anything snacks. in here. Yeah, any snacks. So you just yeah. put this stopper in the bottom and then you're going to put the product in the top put the lid back on, and then anytime you wanna use it, you just put your bowl underneath, pull out that white stopper, and twist. Now, I have had some questions. People are like, well, does the product just come out? No, it doesn't. The white stopper just helps to kind of prevent that, but product really just doesn't fall out, you know, when it's sitting on your countertop or anything like that. Um, but it's a great way for your kids to just easily get out whatever snacks they need. Now, a lot of people have asked, is it airtight? No. So I wouldn't keep cereal in here for a month, but if it was going to be there in a week, a week or two, I think you would be just fine. I was telling Liz that I went to an office that had a bunch of these um, in their like, uh, what would I call it? Kitchen area. Yeah. And they yeah. had like Chex Mix, M&Ms, mm. all sorts of stuff in it that anyone could just come and take out of those. So I really do like those as a snack option, even if you don't eat a lot of cereal. Yeah, and then you can get the amount you want. Mm -hmm. Marsh, thanks for following us here on Amazon. All right, next up, you guys, another kitchen item is the Super Cube. So if you're making some soups or chili 
or really anything in that cold weather and you make a big batch and you want to figure out a way to store it you want to try the super cube now what the cool thing about the super cube is it allows you to freeze individual portions of your favorite soup so that you could just reheat that one item you don't have to worry about reheating the entire pot and this the construction on this is made so well it has this nice like hard silicone it's got a metal topper and then this lid is such great quality like the it's always a five star rating on these and i think because the quality on this is so great that people just you know maybe you got a lot of leftovers maybe you like to make things in big batches but you just want to reheat a little portion for lunch this is a great way to do it you pop them out after they're frozen and then just put them in a ziploc baggie so you can just reheat what you're going to use they're also stackable so if you buy multiples you can put them on top of each other this is another item that i've given as gifts and people have really liked angelica said super cubes are amazing uh, she said the best part is that they pop out so easily. They also stack great uh, without crushing the bottoms, and she has multiples. Thank you for letting us know that, Angelica, and I agree with you. I think be, they do pop out really nicely versus how I used to do it was in ice cube trays, and you'd kind of have to really, you know, struggle to mm -hmm. get them out too. So thanks for letting us know that. All right, next up, you guys, with being the new year, a lot of people are starting to uh, prep their meals on the weekend. So they have meals throughout the whole week, eating at home more. So this is a set, a 20 pack of meal prep um, containers that you can use that are under $21. This is ones that I've had for years. They wash up really nicely. Um, we've gosh, probably two years we've had this set and they work really great for meal prep containers. We throw them in the dishwasher and don't have any problems with them. They have almost 24,000 reviews on them. So a good price if you're looking for some containers to use. And I love that they stack really nicely in your kitchen as well. Now to go along with that, if you have a smaller pantry like I do, or maybe you put food in a closet, um, like this is this is a closet in my mud room where I store extra containers like this. This closet right here, I store my instant pot and things like that. But these um, hanging under wire, um, oh, they're called hanging under wire. Are they cabinet? They shelves. Are. Hanging under shelf storage baskets. Storage <laughs> basket. Title. Yeah. You guys, I really enjoy these. I have them in that closet. I also have them in the cabinets throughout my kitchen. They come in a pack of six, but these are great. You don't have to um, screw them into your wall. All you do is slide them on there and it just provides additional storage. So it turns a shelf into two shelves because you have that additional storage. So absolutely love those um if you're you know if you have a small pantry or maybe you don't have a pantry and you just have cabinets but you want to find additional storage try those out um they've been really great okay let's do kind of like a home decor organization item now i ordered these last year not thinking they would be anything that great and i was blown away i told delaney how much i loved these baskets they're a set of three baskets. Now, you could use these for organization. You could put them in your kitchen. They would be great to organize your, um, you could put your fruits in there. You could put apples and your bananas. These would also be great as home decor. You could hang them on your wall in like a set of three. I can't, I can't really hold all three, but you could hang them <laughs> as home decor on your wall. You could also just have these sitting out in your office you know, to store different things. They have these really great flat bottoms to them. And I'm telling you, the construction on these is so great. And then look at that wavy edge. This is the smallest one, but this is a set of baskets. It's gonna last you. And it's gonna be one that you have and use in multiple areas throughout your house because they're just so nice. Um, I absolutely love these. I feel like this company like really just knocked it out of the park on the quality. So if you need a set of baskets, it's a little unique or, or just wanting them um, to kind of change out your decor. Now that I'm looking at these, I'm thinking, because after Christmas, when you take everything down, it's so bare. I'm like, maybe I should take these to my house and, <laughs> and decorate there. Um, yes. 
All right, you guys, if you're not following us here on Amazon, make sure you go ahead and hit the follow button. We go live two to three times a week to make sure you're following us. All right, next up, you guys, I wanted to show you my favorite command hook. This is a command hook that holds so much. Um, we've used these. I've used them in my closet. I've also used them here at the office. So I store a lot of outfits, like sometimes when I'm changing to do um, multiple like videos throughout the day, I will change outfits. And these hooks hold so much. I mean, I put way too much on there. I they, don't know how they haven't fallen yet. I if you, I wish you guys could see Liz's office right now because there are so many things have, on these hooks. And I've, I've had them hanging there for, gosh, a, a year or yeah, two. Yeah, they've been there... They've been there before I started working here. At least, yeah, at least yeah, two so years. at least two years. Yeah, but they are great. They come in a pack of two. They look so nice. They stick on the wall, so they're renter-friendly. If you're somewhere where you cannot drill holes in, this is a great option to have. And they're 8% off today. You get two. Um, and, man, they hold a lot. So these would be great for your closet, by your back door to put your keys to hand these. We had a question earlier Would they hold bath towels mm -hmm. on the first hooks. I guarantee, I feel like these would definitely hold bath yes, towels. Yes. Like, cause they hold so many of my clothes that they would definitely, uh, Wendy and Cheryl, thanks for following us here on Amazon. Okay. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing because I don't think I've shown you this outfit before okay so first up this is gonna be great for everyone in their colder climates right now this is a turtleneck um the one i got is in the beige color and it has slits on the side so you can kind of see let me show you what the back looks like i'm wearing it with leggings i have the leggings linked as well um i probably bought a size large in this uh, but it's just a great turtleneck. I bought it in the tan, but I also bought it in the color black. And I like both of them. I've actually been wearing them pretty much over break quite a bit. You can see here I have it on with jeans, but you could also throw it on with some black leggings as well. Now here is the black leggings I'm wearing. They are kind of like a take on the leather style leggings, but they are more just like a shiny leggings. Like they look like they have the leather, but they're not too tight. They're definitely very comfortable. I love them. And I think they look great with this set. Um, you know, they're not too tight on the waist or anything. And again, with these, I bought my true to size with the leggings. Um, but you can see in that sweater, it also comes in, let's show them the clip again with the black sweater so they can see it in black if they're looking at getting it like with a different color. Um, does it come in a ton of colors or just, are they so kind of basic? this sweater, it comes in the tan, it comes in the black. Oh, whoa. It has an option to click more options. See all 30 options. Oh, so it's got so a lot of There's 30 different colors on this one. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So I've been loving this turtleneck and... I definitely think I've been wearing the cream one more than the black, but definitely love it. It's super comfortable. It's not itchy. That's one of my big, like, I don't have an undershirt on underneath this. Um, I, that's one of my biggest qualms is if a sweater is too itchy, it's not. Um, I feel like the sleeves are at a perfect length where I can just kind of pull them up a little bit and it's good awesome turtle if you like to honestly, if you don't like, cause I'm not a turtleneck girl and I really like this. Um, so if you're looking for a pretty sweater that you could wear with leggings or have the option for jeans, I think that's a great option. There are also different color options on the leggings as well. So if you're wanting like a brown or a oh, red color, cool. you can get those as well. And then we also didn't talk about the boots. Oh, that you're yeah. Wearing. Yeah. So the boots that go with this, um, this is a set of boots that I've had now for a year. They're just really comfortable. They're that same beigey color as my sweater. So they look great and kind of pop on those black leggings. Um, so, and I wear these in my true to size as well. So those are the boots that I'm wearing. Okay. So if you guys are watching us on YouTube, make sure you come over and add any item you saw to your cart. We love it. When you check out through our links, we get a small commission whenever you purchase through our links. So we do appreciate, um, that just kind of keeps us going. Angelica asked, are the boots in the carousel? Yes, they are at the very end, Angelica. So you can click on the boots yes. and add those to your cart. 
Um, oh, uh, Amy says she wishes the sweater was in a crew neck. Um, yeah, no, the leggings are good. I've been wearing them and really enjoy them. I haven't had any trouble with them falling down. Um, I feel like they're high enough that they work really well. Um, and I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I'm kind of weird about leggings, but it, I think it also depends on your body type as yeah. well. They are very thick though. Yeah. So you're not going to have to worry about any see-through. Like they're yeah. a very thick pair of leggings. Yeah. Yeah, they are. And I feel like they would go with a lot. Like originally I got them to wear with that black sweater because I felt like if I was going to do black on black, I wanted something that was a little bit, gave an extra pop. Um, but yeah. All right, you guys. So um, if you're on YouTube, come over and check out here on Amazon. Now Delaney and I are going to be live again this week sharing with you our favorite um, winter, uh, winter items. fashion winter finds. Fashion. There it is right there. We have a lot of new items. So we're excited to bring those to you guys tomorrow. Or wait, we may be doing them the next day. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're doing them tomorrow. Okay. It's, we're yeah. all, it's, today is Wednesday. I know. Today is Wednesday. Have... I know. It doesn't feel like it's Wednesday. I know, but then I thought maybe I moved it last night. Did I don't know. Me and Delaney have to talk check. the calendar. I'm I don't know. Right now, right now. <laughs> In on the calendar, it's tomorrow at okay. 9 a.m. Okay. Wednesday. We're, or, or wait. Thursday, because today Thurs is Wednesday. Yes, tomorrow is Thursday. Today is Wednesday. I'm so off on days. I got <laughs> to get too. back to a Monday, I Wednesday, Friday it's schedule. it's Tuesday. I know. And it's Wednesday. Okay, it's Wednesday. We'll be here tomorrow. Um, so we hope you guys could join us. Sorry, we couldn't figure that. Yes, we will be here Thursday. I was <laughs> thinking it was Tuesday or so. I don't know. But we'll be here Thursday morning. We go live around 9 o'clock. Um, so we hope you guys can join us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.